Breathe, 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 how could you? Breathe, hold on, breathe. All right, we are on the river and we're gonna be doing some fossil hunting today. I got my buddy, wow, Kyle there. I got Captain Bree operating the boat. Kyle is helping to operate the boat and we're gonna be walking these banks all over here to find tons of fossils. We got a bit of a boat ride first. Let's get started. Straight ahead, we're gonna park right there. There are birds up there, vultures waiting for us. I see fossils in that limestone. You see that, Kyle? There's fossils I right there. I see it, fossils. I see them. All right, we're just gonna leave the boat right here and walk way, way down that way. But first, we're gonna check around here. We got a little, some type of, ooh, nice like little those. oyster They're thing. I'm gonna keep that. Aren't these things so cool? That is so cool, man. They are awesome fossils. There's another one right there that got a little crushed up. Ooh. Oh, they're everywhere. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're everywhere. I'm using a box of cheese that's to put my fossils in. Uh, that's typical for you. <laughs> Who's that? Apparently there's a, there's a rooster somewhere. <laughs> so this is limestone, which is the ancient ocean floor. And that's why we have fossils like this. The little oyster eroding out of it. Now this stuff is super, super old. As you can tell, it's been a very long time, something like 30 million years, 35 million years since this was all underwater in the Eocene depositing these fossils. So we should find a lot of cool stuff eroding out of this today. Sand dollar right here. Ooh. It's yeah. complete. That's a nice one. That's Sweet. the first nice find of the day, I think. Oh, that's gonna clean up so, so beautiful. Most of these little white things you see coming out of the rocks are fossils. Just little marine invertebrates, like different shells, different echinoids, sand dollars, and things like that. There's a crushed up one, you can see part of the pattern. The little star there, it was a sand dollar. That's an oyster, that's another oyster. But we're looking for the stuff that we can easily just either pry out, or stuff that's just sitting loose, like these things here. Ooh, I got a little sand dollar right there, look at that. Just bring it down to the water's edge and get bitten by an alligator. Can you an alligator? Yeah, right here. Look at that. Ooh, beautiful. Very nice. Chris. Kyle. Do you see it? Yeah, I see it. You Do did it. Do see it? Oh, that's a beautiful sight. Oh, that's a beautiful sight. You did it. Oh, I love her. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Chris, that is gorgeous. That's, oh, that's a nice one, man. Your light is helping me. Thank nice. You. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Makes my footage look great. That's exactly right. I also see, see, see a shizaster. What? Just so y'all know. What? Yeah, that's right. I didn't see it. That's right there. Oh, ha, ha. <laughs> I told ya. All right. That's really beat up, so I won't keep that one, but that's a sea urchin fossil. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, flip yeah, flippy, flippy. Come on, baby. I'm going to wash it. Look, it drops off into oblivion right there. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Oh yeah, come on, there we go. What do you have here, Bree? Uh, all the sand dollars. What? I could want, there's one down here. Nice. There's one here. Okay, I have these Oh as well. my gosh. Let's add these to the bag. Perfect. The things we have to do. We did it. Okay. Oh my gosh, I did it! Yeah! yeah. Oh, look at that. What? There's actually a, a, a piece of chert. Let's listen to this. It's a different kind of rock. Whoa. This is what Native Americans made stone tools from. It's silicified limestone, and that is an echinoid stuck in there. Now, there's no way to extract that, and this is relatively common in Florida. I think this thing has me. It's got me. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave this here. We're just, uh, we'll leave that, and we'll go find some loose ones. They're everywhere. They're really cool. Look, I just picked those up. I like I'm this. just as good as Kyle. I found just as many. They're bigger. He's not better than me. Yes, oh, wait. These are mine are bigger. Yours are better preserved. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> no. I got three. <gasps> I got three. I'm better. No. I'm better. No. Than <laughs> You're never better. I'm better. We have a dilemma because I was walking up the bank and I pointed to this. And I said, look at that one up and there, it's really like, oh, well yeah. preserved. And then we got up here and everyone's like, yeah, yeah. Thinking that I found, I didn't see that. <laughs> so now <laughs> we don't know who found this. I'll do the extraction. It's a beautiful little oh. Shizaster species echinoid right there. But we gotta throw it back. No. Because it'll, we'll fight about it and it'll divide us trying to figure out who gets to take it home.
Just kidding. We still have it. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? What are you doing there? Uh, ooh. Ooh. Uh, ooh. Ooh. That's a nice one. We're ooh. getting them. We're on them. Look, they're mates. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's really dirty. Yes. Yucky. Like you. Like me. <laughs> yep. On to the next spot. We gotta drive the boat a while. We hit the end of the line there. There, that's better. That's that's better. That's beautiful. That's worse. That's better. Don't look at me. <laughs> We're at the second spot right here and it looks good. Look at that. Big rocks all over the place. We're gonna motor up here and throw the anchor. Free, 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 how could you? Free, hold on, free. Hold on, Kyle, get your hat out of the way. Hold on. Let Kyle. me pick it up. Wait, 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 no, yeah, just, just look at it. Okay, just touch it. it, just pet it. Just do it, just pet it. Okay, now do it, pick it up. What? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Uh, look, look, the boat's right there. We, were, we, we, oh we, we drove right to it. We drove right to it. Here. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, Bree, let me get the camera. Wash it off now! Wash it. Wash it. Wash it off now. Wash it off. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I guess we should stop and explain. This is a very rare shark tooth. An auriculata shark tooth. This is a direct ancestor of the megalodon, but it's much much older and much less common than Megalodon and very rare to find sitting on the banks of a river. Oh, Bree, you didn't even have to dive. You didn't even have to scuba dive for that. Kyle, <laughs> bro, we always joke around one day we're just gonna see one. Oh my god. What? Look at all the fossils right here in the limestone. Now this is where that shark tooth that Bree just found eroded out of is something like this. This is crazy. This is just crazy. I can't handle that. I can't even think anymore. This. I'm just I'm nauseous. Oh. <laughs> Cloudy. Let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see it. Again. Guys, look at this. My blood pressure is skyrocketing. Oh <laughs> look at all this stuff right here. Looks like the current washes it up into here and it gets stuck. There's all kinds of fossils. And there's a little chunk of fossilized bone up here that's also Eocene. Probably an earlier version of what later became dugongs and manatees. Well, it looks like the only major find here at this spot was Bree's ridiculous auriculata shark tooth that makes me want to vomit. So we're going <laughs> to jump back in the boat and go that way. Alright, so it is actually the next day. It got dark on us and Wild Kyle is still here. We also have, if you guys look over here, we have Derek the Rockmaster and we have Chris Bobolek over there and it's gonna be a good time. So it's another day, the same river, but a different location and we're gonna see what we can find on the banks in this area. There's a layer right here and I don't know if you guys can see how many tiny baby echinoids are all in this clay. Almost makes me wanna collect a bunch of this and sift it out later because it's like endless amounts. I couldn't even pick them all out of here and it goes all the way that way. All right, I couldn't help it and I had to collect a bunch of these nice little ones. I could not leave them behind. They were begging to go home with me. Just look at how rich this spot is in these Eocene fossils. There's like a shell layer loaded with the little sand dollars like that one. Still holding all those little ones from before but they're just everywhere. And I don't see the end of this. It's pretty cool, Humphrey. I love it. <laughs> oh, it's like stuck in the rock here. Mm -hmm. so, so I'm assuming this clay is like a dissolved limestone where the hard fossils out of the limestone are just in the soft clay now. Look at this one right here. I just flipped it and saw that it is both sides still preserved. It's flaking apart a little bit, but the fact that it's still together after all that time is pretty amazing. Do you see what I see, Christopher? I see that, Kyle. Oh, oh, it's a little beat up, but that pattern is just too That's good beautiful. to deny. And I thought, I'd look at this one right here. Oh, oh, that's the back side of it. That's sweet. There's a bunch of pieces of them hiding right here. Look at that. We overlooked all this stuff. Oh my stuff. gosh. What? <laughs> we overlooked all these. Yes, areas. it's right beside the boat. We all stepped over it. 
Kyle and I just brought the boat down to Bree, Chris, and Derek to hop in, and Bree appears to have found some cool stuff mm -hmm. while we were bringing the boat over here. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Those are really nice. I'm actually not positive on the species of those guys. No. I like them. I, I like, like them I too. Have scales. Well, good job, Bree. <laughs> what species was that, Kyle? The species is Babaganabinus. Babadubada. Bing bing. I did not know that, man. Thank you. Education from Wild Kyle. They are 12 years old. Wow, man, that's awesome. See, you guys probably follow this channel to learn things, and I just learned something too. Can I have a ride? You can have a ride. You can have a ride. Hop on in. Come on in. What's your name? Tell me your name. What's your name? Boy, you ain't getting this boat if you don't tell us your name. We don't know his name. <laughs> we don't know who this is. <laughs> who are you? Who are you? I'm Wild Derek. Wild Derek. <laughs> <laughs> Look how crazy these banks are right here way up there and this is all ancient ocean floor right here and the river's cutting through it exposing oh, no all those fossils no oh yeah that's super cool the right there action. that's that's actually just a little echinoid that's cut in half from the river and there's other little shells and stuff there oh, what, what is it derek he's literally it's an a10 warthog a10 warthog holy shit. here it comes here whoa We just arrived at the next spot and we're all hopping out here. There we go. All right. I see clay. Oh, I'm coming. It's endless shells. Oh, that's a good sign. That's all Eocene stuff. That's really cool. Nice. Oh, look at this stuff, man. So much cool stuff. Little echinoids in there, too. Little tiny ones all over. What'd you find, Bree? I got a horse tooth. Right there, a little guy. Let's Ooh, wash him nice. off. Nice. Oh, a chewing surface. Yeah. Cool. That's very unexpected, <laughs> actually. That's. I'm gonna be looking around for more of that kind of stuff. Yeah. Oh, I was looking at the spring and I looked to the left and that was right there. What the heck? Kyle! 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 What did you do? Bro, good job, Kyle. No. Do extraction. No. Wait, 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 you guys have to see this. Come see it. Come see it before. <laughs> I'll get over here right now. Oh Look what God. I just found. <laughs> get in here. Okay. All right. Nice. Let's Go see. Slow. Oh, please be nice. Please oh. be nice. Please be nice. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Nice. Oh. That is wow. <laughs> incredible. That's well, crazy. I think yeah, it's funny. official. We're going to have to come back to this place and go scuba yeah. diving. That's... And looky right there. We got a little fragment of a fossilized horse tooth. Not bad. All right, there's all kinds of cool stuff right here. Kyle, I'm jealous of your shark tooth. I know, it's nice. Eh? I want one for another myself. Horse fragment. Oh, another piece. Oh, focus, there we go. All right, what now we now we on some interesting stuff. Here you go, Brie. You can have them both. Okay. Oh, look right here. That is a piece of fossilized turtle shell. So there's definitely, there's definitely all kinds of fossils here. We need to scuba dive here, even yeah. though it looks kind of spooky. Chris here just found an incredible disaster there. there. Little break, but it's a massive oh, one, yeah, way sure. bigger than normal. Yeah. Sweet. Nice. Wild Kyle found this little gastropod. It's the internal cast to a snail shell. Pretty cool. Mud got in there and it turned into a rock and then the original shell fell apart and it left the internal cast. And I love it. And he loves it. Perfect. I returned to that little spot I found the horse tooth fragment at earlier. And I got a tiny piece of mastodon tooth. You can see that's enamel right on the edge there. Just a tiny fragment, but it's cool to see that there are pieces here, because it means that when we come back and do some scuba diving, we could potentially find complete teeth out there. Look at that stuff. It's very stained, but it probably would have an amazing well, colors all over that. it. You can remove that stain. All that. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can remove all that. And that's... The structure is amazing. I know. I, I love how flowy it is. It's very cool. <laughs> All right, there's this pile of wood shavings, like a nice little point there and over there as well. I have no idea what did that. Clearly something burrowed into this wood. So if you guys have any idea what type of little creature would do that, let me know. <laughs> so we just found a little outcrop of rocks and it's kind of hardened limestone that has little crystals. I don't know if you guys can see those. So Bree picked this rock up and I didn't manage to film her finding it but it was right off the bank of the river 
and it looks super interesting. We think there's gonna be some good stuff in here. Let's go ahead and cut this thing open on the saw and find out. You might also notice that Brie is standing behind the saw instead of the normal way in front of it. It helps us to really see exactly where the blade is contacting to make sure we get a very precise cut and we don't veer off or anything like that. It doesn't affect the cut at all. I don't know why some people get so worked up over that, but uh, yeah, it's totally fine. There's sand coming out of it. That's a good sign that it might be hollow. It just broke. We'll glue it back. There we go, there we go. So we have no idea what kind of geode this thing is gonna wind up being. We haven't seen very many from this location ever. So here we go, moment of truth. Let's see what this thing is. Oh, what oh in gosh. the world? Oh my gosh, it's got so many crystals. I did not oh, expect that. And that agate, like wobbly looking stuff. Okay. Well, Bree, you done good. I done did it. You done did it. We'll glue that back together <laughs> right there. Yeah. That's crazy. I did not expect it to look like that. Me neither. Wow. And here's a good close up. Look at that. I mean, that's beautiful. I'm very intrigued to do more uh, rock hunting in this area. Because that thing is beautiful and there's probably a lot more. There's a little bit of a spring flowing out of the bank right here and there are all kinds of fossils in it. I just picked those two up right there. And if you guys come in here nice and close, you'll see there's another one right here. Look at that. There's that one and there's untold numbers of tiny little baby ones there. Untold. <laughs> little <laughs> spines from echinoids. So little sea urchins, these are little spines that would stick off of the more rounded urchins. All right, look at this. Uh, uh. That's a part of a crab. It is probably an Eocene crab. Beautiful. I'm taking that home. That's so what weird. I think heck? that's part of his pinchy. Yeah. Oh. oh my gosh, that would have been a massive crab. Okay. Well, that's a fossil I was that's not expecting. So cool. <laughs> Look at this fossil right here, y'all. That's a straight up sea urchin. What? <laughs> that's neat. I got a fossil right here. If you guys come in close. What does that look like? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Is that uh, part of Kyle's urchin? It's um, a very special fossil. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Derek, this is for you. Oh, I thank know, you. I know you'll appreciate oh, that. Oh my gosh, that's, that's what I was hoping for. <laughs> <laughs> we have two little fossils right here. We got a little fossilized oyster. We gotta pry it out of there. It's bigger than I thought it was. Yeah, it's kind of hard to idea, but that is indeed an oyster. I'll leave that there. And then this echinoid, a little sand dollar. It's a beautiful one. And this might be one back there as well. Can you guys see the little disc thing? That's ah, just a fragment of one. So I'll keep that one. I'll leave that oyster here. So now we can get a close up of this fossil. This is actually a piece of a sea urchin, like that one that Kyle found. And the little echinoid spines, sea urchin spines would have come off of those things. That's awesome. That was kind of unexpected. That's a piece of a mammoth tooth. On the bank of the river, just sitting right here. I picked it up right here. I thought it was a piece of wood. It looks like a piece of wood. Yeah, it does. Oh, Bree said she got something over here. What'd you do? A oh, horse it's a tooth. nice horse tooth. <laughs> what? What the heck? Okay. I was just pulling out all of the Pleistocene muck. fossils. It was in the muck? Yeah. Well, that's random. All right, we got a spot here with a little bit earlier echinoids. These are actually oligocene in age. And for whatever reason, there's a ton right oh here. Oh. Look, do it, Kyle, uh. extract. Oh. That one's gonna be nice. Oh. oh, yeah. That's really cool. And let's make a pile right here. Mm -hmm. There's another one right here. Oh, Kyle's going in there. I got this one. Oh. And I bet, I bet if we started just noodling around in the water, they're all in here. Oh. We're gonna have to make a pile. Y'all want a noodle? We should noodle. We found an exposure oh. here. Look, oh, there's, yeah, look, there's look. one right there. <laughs> Coming out. Dude, oh. Pile. oh, I bet they're all in this matrix rock, too. I bet. Yeah, oh, Careful, look, look at that. One oh, there, that. one there, awesome. there, there. No! Well, oh, just right kind of here, here that. and here. Dude, I have never seen so many of these things. Yeah, this is the coolest oh, thing. Okay, you ready? Let's see, Let's see what we got. I feel one. 
You feel one? I think you I probably feel, feel 100 of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. How many are here? So one there. Oh. One. I just Two, one. There. Oh. You're like Three. dropping them. Is that one? That's I can't one. even tell. That's one it right there. Tricks. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. let's see. oh, that one's all eroded away. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. These are nothing else. That's crazy. Okay. Oh, this one right there. Yeah, the little one right there. Oh, one. Okay. Baby. A oh, baby. Uh, baby. All right. Do it, and then here's your pile here. <laughs> oh my god. This is crazy. One hand. Oh my god. Whoa, Derek. Yeah. Whoa. You guys found a crazy yeah. spot. We got it. Oh. We got it I'm now. I'm scared to look at my hand right now. Do it, right now. Do, it. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. Oh, oh, oh look at all the nice noise. Ones. We got a bag full of all kinds of stuff to clean off here, and a little bit of stuff already cleaned off. We got tons of the different echinoids, like the sand dollars and the sea biscuits and all that good stuff. We also got that part of a horse tooth. Bree's incredible auriculata shark tooth. It's a, such a rare species right there. And my favorite find of the day, that geode right there that Bree got. Look at that thing. I am so excited to get back to this place to look for more of these specifically. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you guys in the next video.